It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell on the door jingled once more, and then time almost came to a stop. But somehow I knew and maybe Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Delaney and this is a part five and also my final part in my Christmas clean and decorate series in which we'll be decorating my master bedroom. We're also going to be decking out my little chug shrine area. Um, dedicating some pug decor to that and um, decorating my master bathroom. So we're just going to jump right in, do lots of cleaning. I always like to dust everything down before I start decorating and we're also going to change out the sheets and I got a, a new bedding set which is much overdue. This was a year and a half old, so it feels nice having um, a new comforter and some new pillowcases and whatnot. So we're just going to do a little bedding refresh, dust everything down, and then we'll jump right into decorating. bedroom we have a lot of neutral colors with ivory and creams and I just love how um, this looks with our espresso colored furniture and I'm just going to be adding some Christmas plaid sheets to the bed 
along with our new bedding. And I just love how it gives um, a pop of red and green and also some pink into the room. So you'll see as we start decorating that I have those pops of red and green and golds even too. And then also um, there's some touches of pink. So it's definitely more of a muted cozy Christmas statement up here in the bedroom versus downstairs in the living room and kitchen but I absolutely love how it turns out so make sure to keep watching and um, wait for the tour at the end. In our bedroom, there's only a few places that I redecorate for every season. Um, I have the top of our dresser, um, kind of our TV stand. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do with this area. However, if you do have some more ideas of little touches that I could add, um, please let me know down in the comments. But we also have our um, bathroom, which you'll be seeing here in a little bit. I like to just put a couple pieces in there. And also at the end of this video, I decorate some floating shelves that I installed um, in one of the walls of our bedroom. And I'm super excited about this just to have another spot where I can change out some seasonal decor as well as have some, you know, pictures and other um keepsake d decor as well.
so you'll notice in this video that I am decorating this space over several days and I always like to put out that reminder that it is okay to not get everything done in one day. Um, this is something that I'm slowly coming to terms with um, as a perfectionist, but also I'm kind of lazy at the same time, so it's an odd mixture. Um, anyways, I'm curious to know how many Christmas trees do you have in your home? We have our mini one upstairs here and then our main one downstairs in the living room. Uh, and then also we technically have one on the front porch. But I'm always so curious because some people have several different Christmas trees. And if you have been watching my channel for a little while now, you will know that we have two chugs, Sunny and Hobbit, and this entire area is dedicated to them. I like to refer to it as our chug shrine. And I'm just adding some cute pug decorations that I picked up from Target and then of course some other touches of Christmas decor. And I just love how this spot turns out. Um, obviously, just having a whole spot dedicated to our dogs gives me so much joy. Um, <laughs> let me know. Do you have any spots in your home that you put your uh, pet decor up or anything like that? Because hopefully I'm not alone in uh, loving these dogs more than anything in the whole wide world. <laughs> So in our bathroom, I took out this huge over-the-toilet shelf out, and I wanted to do something a little more simple with this little uh, toilet tray and some forest fur incense from Target. And then I just printed out some prints from Etsy that were um, more seasonal, and I got one for this bathroom and the powder bath, and I'm excited to kind of switch out these uh, pictures based on the season. So let me know down in the comments if you think that's a, a fun idea or not when uh, uh, switching out a seasonal decor. Um, but we're just going to finish cleaning up the bedroom, giving it a nice vacuum. And then here at the end of the video, I have a little tour of the bedroom and I do want to say that this, again, is the final part of my Christmas Clean and Decorate series. My next video in a few days will be my Christmas home tour. I hope you tune in because I actually have made quite a few changes with my decor throughout the house. Um, if you've seen my other Christmas Clean and Decorate videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please like and subscribe and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you. Tomorrow.